What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all having a great day. Happy holidays and Merry Christmas from me to you. Before we hop into this video, I just want to say thank you so much for all the continued film support you guys showed me this year. Such a crazy year and just mind blowing how fast it went by. A huge learning curve. Grateful for all the opportunities that were presented towards me and just really happy how everything worked out in the end for me. So, quick update before we hop into the actual part of this video. As you can see in the title of we, or I, ordered Full sent a custom set of VC coilovers last week. They told me it was going to be a three to five week build period since they're really backed up on orders, but received an email yesterday saying it's shipped out and will be here within the next three days. So really happy about that. I just went with their BR series. I went with custom Swift Springs. I went 18K in the front and 16K in the rear. The X100s are sort of a heavy chassis. They're like 32, 3300 pounds, and they are very front heavy with the inline six, hence why I went with an 18K spring rate. The rear, I wanted to go softer, like a nine or 10, but I don't have the intentions on drifting the car currently, so I just went with a 16K spring rate so I can have more of a static fitment. And those will be here, like I mentioned, within the next three days. So big shout out to PC Racing Coilovers for taking care of me. I didn't go with the Extreme Low Kit, and that's probably why they're shipped out so fast, because it's just popping on springs and getting them custom valved and shipping them on over to me. Last week also early, we got packages for shipment two of three from Serial 9. We'll go ahead and open those up in a bit. Really happy about that. Currently just waiting on shipment number three, which is the rear camber arm and the rear toe arms. So my objective for Sunday is to remove the old coilovers from the Mark II, get them cleaned up, and then post them for sale. If they are still available by the time this video goes out, I'm asking 350 ship. In terms of details, we'll go in more details once I pull them out and we can inspect them. But without further ado, let's go ahead and open up the serial line goodies. Without further ado, introducing the Rear, I think these are solid diff bushings. That's minor shot. We have rear solid subframe bushings, which will definitely increase the NVT of the chassis, but nothing too crazy. Really love the attention to detail on these and how clean these are. And then we have the rear traction arm. Really wish these were my camber arms, but they will do. So I'll definitely install these today since I already got them. In terms of the subframe and rear differential bushings, I do plan on dropping the rear subframe on my own and getting it powder coated or at least just cleaned up. This is going to do um, a nice matte black finish or maybe we'll go crazy and do it hot pink. Not too sure, but definitely plan on doing this early January. Happy holidays, my children. So, Mark II, pretty self-explanatory. Loosen the wheels. Jack stands, wheels off. The front coilovers are easy. One bolt on the bottom, three bolts on top. In terms of the rear, we got one bolt on the bottom. In order to access the top hat bolts, you have to remove the back seat, which is pretty easy. So with all your force for the bottom portion, it's gonna lift up and there will be a clip there, as you can see in the dark. And then to access the, this, portion. I believe there's two or three 10 millimeter bolts that are holding on another bracket. Once those are removed, the side, rear, I don't even know what you want to call this. This will come off and then you have access to your top hats here. All right, let's see what we can do. This is like really difficult. Oh my God, bro, what the fuck? It's right here. I can feel it. Okay, I want bottom portion is off. I think I broke a clip in there. To be expected, but now I get a clean. Really happy about that. So we got one, two, three, and four. They look like 10 millimeter bolts to remove. And the seat belts, you can just shimmy around the seat. So the back side of the rear seat is out. Once you have the bottom four removed, go ahead and lift up gently, which will release the clips to these three here. And then what I did is just used a Phillips screwdriver to remove the Phillips head for the seat belts. Got one, got two, we got three with a total of six bolts. 
which will give you full access now to the rear seat and your coilovers, which are hidden in here. And again, there's gonna be three, and they could be anywhere between 12 and 14 millimeters. But first, I'm gonna go ahead and deep clean the rear here. I'm making some solid progress on the Mark II. On jack stands, wheels off, front coilovers are out. In terms of a little bit more detail of the front, they are honestly in good shape. They do need new bushings. I'm sure you can find some polyurethane ones. The part number is 050929, and they do fit the X90 and X100s. Springs in good shape. The valving is still okay, and the threadings are not rusted, and the adjustable dampening is still proficient. So we got the rear bolt soaked in PP Blaster because I've never taken these out before, so wish me luck. Rear coilovers are out. These are in much better shape than the fronts. Again, part numbers still the same. So I'm gonna give these a good cleaning, and if you are interested, if they're still available while this video goes up, 350 shipped. Next, let's go ahead and install our Serial 9 traction arms. Pretty self-explanatory, I already got it out. So the bolt that goes onto the rear knuckle assembly is going to be a 19 millimeter. And then the side that goes onto, it's the front of the chassis on the subframe is going to be a 17. I have the traction arms laid out on the table. To maximize the full adjustment potential of your arms, make sure you have equal threads on each side, like so. So what I did was just put the Serial 9 traction arm against the OEM J6100 arm, put the bolt on the bottom knuckle and just kind of adjusted it accordingly until it was pretty even, as you can see here. So it looks good to me. I'm just gonna go ahead and seal these up, which is nice about the Serial 9 arms is it does come with some copper thread lock. So big shout out to them. Put the arms in and that will include our install. Just got done installing the Serial 9 traction arms. Very self-explanatory, fit exactly how they should. So that concludes everything I have to do for Sunday. So now I'm going to relax, do a little bit of cleaning on the bar too, and I will see you guys Wednesday. And we are back everybody. UPS just dropped off the custom BC Racing BR Series coilovers, which was weird because this murdered out, slightly lifted GMC Denali SUV rolled up and I was like, um, can I help you? And it was just homeboy from UPS. So let's do a fresh unboxing of the BC Racing coilovers. How does the Mark II get fancy coilovers before my Skyline? These are absolutely gorgeous. Can't beat that black and like gold, rose gold finish that BC has to offer. Package of peanuts, I need to utilize this box because I did sell the previous coilovers on the Mark II, so disregard any of my old coilovers for sale. These are very nice. We have this much of adjustability and like I mentioned, I don't plan on being stupid low with the Mark II, but when we do get the BN Sports Kit, it's going to sit really low, so I'll have to raise the car up a little bit more. And then also, when we install the rear coilovers, we are going to accommodate height for the rear subframe and differential bushings, because once we install them, it is going to raise the subframe an additional 25 millimeters. So we'll accommodate for that. Here we have the front because they're the 18K, another rear, another front. Oh my fucking God, my Gannon horse, bro. All right, we're good. They're ceramic coated, thickly. Here we are. I'm really sorry, Skyline. So what I'm going to do first is match the new coilovers up with the old coilovers since I liked how it looked and it gave me adequate clearance leading left and leading right at full lock. For the rears, I'm gonna, looks like I'm gonna have to lower the BC coils quite a bit. 
because where these sat there was about two inches of wheel gap and I don't like that. So I will lower the BC two and a half inches, the extra half inch to accommodate for the solid rear bushings for the rear subframe. But should be a pretty simple reinstallment. I'm so happy we finally get to put new coilovers on the Mark II. And it's funny how <laughs> the only part I honestly didn't replace on the Skyline were the coilovers because there were some really nice KTS version twos. All right, got the fronts in, driver's side with ease. Now we have the passenger side with ease. And remember, labels always facing out. A quick little tip to those who are installing said coilovers with these brass inserts. There is another insert on the knuckle that is going to prevent you from sliding the coilover in efficiently because it is pressed in. What I did was use this said tool or something similar I lined it up from the inside like so, and I used the hammer to press a little bit of it out, and now the coilover slides in very efficiently. And then once you tighten it with the bolt, it's going to go back in its formal position. Just finished up the rears, looking good. Thank you to my broski. And the driver's side went as smooth as it could. So I'm gonna adjust the rear to say, 10 clicks and then in terms of the front I like my front stiff so I'll go 15 or 16 and then once we do the test drive we'll determine what feels good and what doesn't but as of right now going to throw the wheels back on put the mark 2 back on the ground and see where she sits and we will adjust accordingly honestly same same but different refreshed suspension, brand new coilovers, and the Mark II still looks phenomenal. Incredible toe out on both sides, but after I'm done filming, I'm going to readjust, go a half inch lower and see how well my clearances is of, as of right now, my clearance is pretty good all around. In terms of the rear, really content with where they sit currently, but I will adjust an additional half inch to accommodate for the front. And I can go an additional two and a half inches now in the rear, which is sweet and excellent clearance as well. So really happy about that. In the future, when I get the BN sports kit, 18s, 40 sidewall, and maybe either a 245 or a 255, depending on the wheel width I go to, and then with the front, of course, another 40 sidewall, and I want to run a 235 or even a 245, depending on the wheel width. Really want that tough, fitted, meaty tire look on the Mark II, but it looks good. Really happy with how the 17s fit on. I really should have went with a 40 sidewall, opposed to a 45 sidewall when I got new tires for these, I forgot, Esto, Ferro wheels, I don't even know. But. Everything looks good. Like I just mentioned, going to do some minor adjustments, get this thing sitting as pretty as I possibly can. And then Friday we have an alignment at Eden Customs. Gonna have them double check the coilovers, make sure they're all equal, rear and front. And then in another video, I'm going to see how the VSKFs will fit and look on the Mark II. Definitely can't tell on camera, but I did lower the Mark II an additional half inch all around. The fronts are almost sitting where I want them to be. I think I can go a little bit lower while still retaining full lock left and right. In terms of the rear, it is sitting exactly where I want it. And like I mentioned in the previous clips, once I go 18s with the 40 sidewall, the rear or overall chassis will drop significantly. But yeah, I would say a very successful install. I cannot wait to drive the Mark II with brand new suspension. I did hit up Serial 9 to see where my camber and tow arms are at. So once those come in, we'll install them and fortunately, but unfortunately, get another alignment. So that is all I have for you guys in today's video. Thank you to those who have made it to the end. I really appreciate your continued love and support. I do plan on making one more video before the end of the year, and that is pretty much going to be a Recap slash how much progress have you made on the Mark II since we picked it up at port to our last alignment, which is going to be in a couple of days and doing a 
doing all the financials and crunching all the numbers, I spent quite a bit of money on the Mark II. I don't regret it because it is an invest. It is in investment, and you guys seem to like the content, and I'm grateful to be able to do things like this. And keeps me busy. It keeps me sane, honestly. Even though sometimes working on cars is a pain in the ass, it genuinely keeps me sane. But other than that, guys, thank you so very much for the continued love and support. And if you're new to the channel too and want to hit the subscribe button, that'd be awesome. And remember, aim high, drive low. We'll see you in one more video. Take care.